we began 2020 executing our different activities normally. But in mid-March, a quarantine was decreed in El Salvador as a preventive measure due to the COVID-19 pandemic, thus initiating great challenges for the population and the different sectors of the economy. ITCA had to switch career classes, course offerings, services, and all administrative tasks to virtual mode overnight. Life went on, but under a new normality, and we had to adapt. As the great ITCA FEPADE family, we overcame all challenges with the enthusiasm and dedication that characterizes us. This video shows the achievements of teamwork. Chancellor's Office the National and International Cooperation, Quality, Internal Audit, Communication, and Publicity Management are under this position and are support units for the entire institution. This office's most outstanding activities were to give continuity to projects with cooperants, to strengthen ITCA headquarters by receiving experts from COICA for a feasibility study presented to the Innovation Secretariat of the Presidency, the exchange project with Northampton Community College won with the support of the 100K Force of the Americas. The Sur Sur Cooperation Project with Sena of Colombia and the Government of Peru to improve the technical and methodological skills of teachers. Teamwork with the San Miguel Regional Management on the modernization of the San Miguel Regional Center project. In addition, Free virtual training for teachers and administrative staff was identified according to ITCA's needs. Internal audits were carried out at ITCA headquarters to receive donations and control the warehouses of the productive and academic areas. Also, through online sessions with directors and management, various documents were reviewed. Verification of the damage caused by Hurricane Amanda was carried out. In order to maintain our quality standard, the AOP of the different areas of the institution has been monitored virtually. Training in the use of the Moodle virtual platform was provided for the coordination, implementation, and evaluation of the teaching quality in the virtual environment, as well as for the preparation of the annual and the AOP report for the Minedu seat. The results of the evaluation of teaching quality and the annual report for the CDA were also prepared. 24 companies participated in the 10th Technology Supplier Fair, leaving donations valued at $14,234. Communication was maintained 24-7 with the staff and the students through official channels, our website, and social networks. We innovated in the 2021 student campaign by conducting 18 virtual open houses, 13 webinars, question spaces, and by implementing the data collection form. 2,088 posts were made during the administration of the nine social networks. A total of 479 artworks were designed, including the graphic line of the new professional training accounts. We got 13 free press and television appearances. We implemented WhatsApp Business. 13 face-to-face -face and 31 virtual events were held. Vice Chancellor's Office. Among the academic achievements of the directors, the headquarters schools, and the regional centers are Design, implementation, and administration of 1,361 classrooms to attend all technical and transversal modules in the Moodle platform for 24 technical careers and 4 engineering careers for the two semesters of the year 2020. Preparation of a variety of teaching resources, such as videos, written material, and redesign of practices for all careers taught for the two semesters of the year. Support and guidance in the use of the Moodle platform was given to all teachers and students for the two semesters of the year. Attention was provided in all academic processes to 5,768 students enrolled during the first semester of the year 2020 of which 26% are women and 74% are men, and to 4,430 students enrolled in the second semester of 2020, of which 20% are women and 72% are men. The scholarships have been granted to 2,201 students in technical careers at the five campuses. Until October of last year, 646 graduates from all campuses have been placed in jobs. 
student welfare was in charge of managing the process of payment plans for students who presented economic difficulties to continue their second semester of the year 2020. 1,767 degrees were awarded to technical and engineering graduates and 264 graduates from the first semester of 2020 are in the process of graduation. Adaptation to virtual media in some of the academic registration processes in order to serve the students during the pandemic emergency. Redesign of the 2021 admission course to be implemented in virtual mode using the Moodle Institutional Platform. A total of 185 virtual classrooms have been created and 2,057 applicants to enter our careers next year are being attended. Design and implementation during the second semester of the year 2020 of the evaluation instrument that a peer evaluator uses to evaluate the teacher's performance in virtual environments. Design and implementation during the second semester of the year 2020 of the student evaluation instrument to measure the quality of teaching in virtual environments. Execution of six research projects with four strategic partners for the benefit of the business sector, government, and academia. Execution of eight social outreach projects in the virtual modality for the benefit of 70 teachers, 2,000 students, and 239 community families. Edition of 14 final reports and formulation of 28 intellectual property applications for copyright and ISBN registration in printed and also in ebook format. Beginning of the registration process of two new utility model patent applications at the CNR. Formulation of four institutional reports to be submitted to the CDA, CONACIT, and MINED. Six participations in scientific contests of CONACIT in the modality of scientific posters. Writing of international articles from Latin America for World Skill America. Edition of the 2019 Annual Review, Research, and Social Outreach Program. Directors, teachers, and coordinators have participated in training provided by Senai from Brazil and Sena from Colombia within the framework of World Skill America. Honorable mention in the engineering and technology category for the research project presented by San Miguel Regional and awarded by the National Council of Science and Technology of El Salvador. Technical Administrative Vice Chancellor's Office. The following is a product of the joint work of the directors, management, and units that comprise it professional development services, finance, maintenance, information technology, human resources, purchasing department, and the Occupational Safety Committee with the support of all the institution's personnel. Human resources management adapted to telework to perform administrative activities that can be executed remotely with the systems designed at home and by adopting the Microsoft Teams service as a work tool. All staff salaries and professional fees have been paid, and the staff health has been monitored. The finance and maintenance personnel were always present. Revenue control adapted to the new reality due to the pandemic. Extra accounting mechanisms for the payment of installments with installment plans. Payment of buyers of services. Payments to personnel, professionals, and suppliers with virtualized modalities. Inventory control and prioritization of purchases to generate savings. Suppliers, contractors, and others have been paid, thus keeping it the Fepale solvent of its obligations. Institutional Biosafety Protocol, approved in September 2020 by the Ministry of Labor and Social Security and ISA4. Implementation of safety measures for staff, visitors, and student community. Support in the review and approval of regional protocols biosafety measures implemented. Facilities and personnel equipped with accessories, equipment, signage, training, and assistance. Survey of damage caused by Storm Amanda, management of compensation, and repair of priority damages. Savings of more than $240,000 were achieved by organizing and scheduling outsourcing, cleaning, specialized services, and surveillance and by incorporating personnel from other administrative and academic units. Virtual teaching platform in the cloud. Virtual classrooms designed by teachers to serve the entire student community. Administration and design of ITCA's virtual campus for continuing education. 
technical training programs, including immersion of instructors, creation of content and structure, training in the use of the platform and digital tools, the staff provided with IT services, equipment, and technical assistance. Both platforms are integrated with Microsoft 365 with the benefit of the software as a complementary tool for all users. It is important to point that for the implementation of these services, it was necessary to strengthen our internet links, improve some communication, security, and protection equipment, and provide support and training required by students, administrative staff, and faculty in the use of these services. Qualitatively into the consulting segment with Familenio Financing, implementing training programs in the following sectors, tourism, construction, sugar, coffee, ICTs, textile, and plastics. We have photographs of everyone on the stage. The start of online training programs with more than 700 participants for Insafor, Educo, World Vision, IOM, CTA Cisco Free Offer, English, Office Automation, and French, as well as resumption of face-to-face -face activities for Empresa Centro, Permanent Technical Skill, and Insafor's National Continuing Education Program. Also, resuming of the operation of Maison de Goya restaurant by delivery. It has been an unforgettable year in the history of mankind, but at Eat Cafe Pade, a specialized school in engineering, we believe that the COVID-19 pandemic has been an opportunity to reinvent ourselves, move forward, and grow.